In this video, we're going to be graphing quadratic equations in standard form. Quadratic equations, those are equations that have x squared in them as their highest power. Let's start by comparing standard form to two other forms of quadratic equations. This equation is written in vertex form. And one nice thing about vertex form is that just by looking at the equation, we can see what the vertex is. For this equation, the vertex is at positive 2, negative 4. Very handy when graphing. This equation is written in intercept form, and it's called that because just by looking at this equation, we can easily tell that there are x-intercepts at negative 3, 0, and positive 5, 0. Also very handy when graphing this quadratic equation. Here are two equations written in standard form. y equals 7x squared minus x plus 3. And y equals negative 1 half x squared plus 3x minus 10. And one thing we'll be looking at is if these equations offer us any hints as to what the graphs look like. So the standard form of a quadratic equation is written in this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Now a, b, and c are the coefficients of x squared of x and the constant term. And those will be important for several applications when working with quadratic equations written in standard form. Now there is one clue about the graph of this quadratic equation that we can get just by looking at the equation. Unfortunately, it's not a very good one, but sometimes it can be helpful. This C here tells us the y-intercept. It doesn't tell us anything about the vertex, but sometimes knowing this can save us a little bit of work. Now what is helpful when working with equations in standard form is that we can easily calculate the x-coordinate of the vertex. Here's a little formula we can use. This little formula will help us find the x-coordinate of the vertex of the parabola. x equals negative b over 2a, or as you'll see in a moment here, the opposite of b over 2 times a. So this will be a good one to know. x equals negative b over 2a, where x is the x-coordinate of the vertex. So let's graph the equation y equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. This equation is written in standard form. The coefficient in front of the x squared we understand as a 1. So a equals 1, b equals 4, and c equals 5. Now just from looking at the equation, we do know that the y-intercept of the equation, or of the graph, is 5. So that might be helpful. Let's hold off on putting that on the graph, though. Now I identified a, b, and c because we can use our little formula to find the vertex of the parabola. x equals negative b over 2a or in other words, the opposite of b over 2a. So that would be negative 4 over 2 times 1. Is it? b is 4 and a is 1. Working that out, we get an x value of negative 2. That's the x-coordinate of the vertex. So right now, we know the vertex is at negative 2 and then some unknown y. All right, let's figure out that y so we can get the vertex on our graph. All right, I'm going to substitute negative 2 into this equation for x. So I have negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 5. Working that out, negative 2 to the second power is negative 2 times negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and we still have the plus 5. 
4 minus 8, that's negative 4. And negative 4 plus 5 equals 1. So we just figured out that the vertex of this parabola is at 1. So let's go ahead and put that on our graph here. Now the parent graph for this quadratic equation would be y equals x squared. Now when we graph y equals x squared, the first move from the vertex would be over 1, up 1. So we're thinking we can place a point here at negative 1, 2. Let's double check. So let's graph the point for when x equals negative 1. All right, I'm going to substitute negative 1 into this equation for x, for both x's. So negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 plus 5. Negative 1 squared, that's positive 1. 4 times negative 1 be negative 4. The plus 5 tags along. 1 minus 4. And negative 3 plus 5 equals 2. So we have another point at negative 1, positive 2. Just like we expected. Now here's where we can save ourselves some work by using this clue. The 5 is going to be the y-intercept. And the reason we know that, by the way, is the x-coordinate at the y-intercept will be 0. So if we substitute a 0 in for both of these x's, we'd get 0 plus 0 plus 5. So we use this clue to get our y-intercept. Now we can clearly see what the right half of our parabola looks like. And the left half will be a reflection of the right side. So let's go ahead and reflect our first point there over to the other side and our second point. And we'll graph or sketch the left side of our parabola. And there's a nice sketch of our graph of y equals x squared plus 4x plus 5. Here you have another quadratic equation that we need to graph. Let's start by figuring out what the x-coordinate of the vertex is. So x equals negative b over 2a. Well, b is negative 4, so the opposite of negative 4 will be positive 4. So notice negative b is sometimes positive. So if b is already negative, the opposite of b will be positive over 2 times a which is negative 2. Working that out, we get an x-coordinate for the vertex of this parabola of negative 1. So let's figure out the y-coordinate of the vertex. So we'll substitute negative 1 into this equation for both x's. We'll square that negative 1 first, because we do exponents before we multiply. Negative times negative is positive. Apply negative 2 times 1. Then we'll work this out left to right. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Minus 3 is negative 1. So we have a vertex of negative 1, negative 1. All right, there's the vertex of our parabola. Now the parent graph of this quadratic equation is y equals negative 2x squared. And when we graphed that previously, the first move was over 1, down 2. So we're expecting our first point to be here. And you know what? We actually don't need to work that out because our y-intercept, the equation tells us, is negative 3. So we'll save ourselves some work and get that y-intercept on there and its reflection. All right, let's keep moving over to the right, and we'll figure out one more point here when x equals 1. When x is 1, we're wondering what y equals. I'll substitute 1 into this equation for both x's. Do that exponent first, work out the multiplication, negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6, and negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. So we have another point at 1, negative 9. And we'll reflect that over to the other side of the parabola, and we see we have an upside down, rather steep parabola.
Here's one last quadratic equation in standard form to graph. We'll start by using our formula to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, negative b over 2a. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. We are disappointed to see that a is a fraction, but I think we'll be able to handle that OK. Let's see, 2 times 1 half. Well, one way to think of that is we're trying to find a half of 2. Oh, what's half of 2? So the x-coordinate of the vertex is 4. All right, let's substitute that 4 into this equation for both x's to figure out the y-coordinate of that vertex. Do that exponent first. 1 half of 16 equals 8. 8 minus 16 is negative 8. And negative 8 plus 12 equals 4. So the vertex is at 4, 4. Now the parent graph of this equation is y equals 1 half x squared. And when we analyze that in close detail, the first move was over 1 up a half. And the second move was over 2 up 2. Well, let's check those points. Unfortunately, this y-intercept is not going to help us on this one. So let's actually move to the left since these numbers are smaller. So we'll use 3 and 2 instead of 5 and 6. So we'll substitute 3 into both x's. Do that exponent first. 1 half of 9 equals 4.5. Now, normally we work left to right with our order of operations when we have mixed operations, or mi when we have subtraction and addition. Let's go ahead and change this into an addition problem by adding the opposite. Because with addition, we can do it in whatever order we want. And we notice that negative 12 plus positive 12, those cancel out. So let's get that on our graph, just as we expected, over 1 up a half. We'll substitute 2 into the equation. Do that exponent first. 2 squared is 4, and half of 4 is 2. We'll do that multiplication there. I was running out of room, so I kind of skipped a step there, but 2 squared is 4, and half of 4 is 2. Then we multiplied 4 times 2, and we had that subtraction sign, and the plus 12 just tagged along. 2 minus 8 is negative 6, so our point is at 2, 6. I'm not too surprised, because it's over 2, up 2. We have a nice upward-facing wide parabola. In this video, we graphed quadratic equations in standard form. The highlight was that the x-coordinate of the vertex equals negative b over 2a. I hope these examples have been helpful. This is Mr. Ela, signing off.